Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a party wear outfits inspiration video. I did mention that this was coming your way, so full of sequins, glitz and glam, expect a lot of that in today's video. I also already have up on my channel a Christmas day slash festive outfits video inspiration as well, so definitely check that out if you want some more demure outfits, still party and still very much like dressed up and ready for the festivities, but not so much like glitz, glam sequins as these are. These are definitely more glamorous outfit ideas. I have six outfits to share with you today. Usually I do five, but for some reason I ended up with six party outfits. So today you're lucky you've got an extra look coming your way. Six party outfits. Outfit number one is all about the gold sequins. I have to say that with this outfit, I feel like it's the skirt that does all of the talking here. This outfit does actually consist of a variety of pieces that I just love as individuals. So then I put them all together and I really like how this looks. Obviously, let me know what you think of the look in the comments down below. It's definitely gold and bright and sequined heavy, but I do really love it. So I'm wearing a cowl neck top. This is just a classic black one. This is a real oldie from Lavish Alice. I've had this in my collection for years and years. It's definitely a neckline that is quite flattering and that always looks really nice for party season, I find. So there are a lot of curl neck tops available now. I will, of course, link everything in the description box down below, either the exact same pieces if they are available or similar alternatives that I managed to find currently in stock. My skirt is yet another oldie. This is from And Other Stories and it's just stunning. It's one of those pieces that I get so excited about bringing out every single Christmas season. It's just one of those that is just so, such a standout piece. I really think it will be in my wardrobe for years and years and years. I absolutely love it. I love the midi length. I love the slit. I love the fit of it. It's just stunning. I decided to then go for gold with my accessories. I feel like with this look, you can go one of two ways. You can either go for gold like I did, or you can go for black instead. I feel like black would almost tone it down a little bit, but I went gold. I told you this video was all about the glitz and glams, the big and the out there sort of sequin inspired outfits. So I went for a pair of gold heels. These are also just such classics in my collection. They come out every single party season. And then I went for a little gold clutch bag as well. This is actually a NARS makeup bag, but you know, it works for the look. You get the idea. And I just think it's such a cute look. Lots of gold, lots of glitz, but still really quite like classy as well. If you thought outfit number one had a lot of sequins, then wait for outfit number two. So for this look, I've got, I mean, full on sequins going on here. You really cannot escape them. I feel like this look would be so perfect for New Year's Eve because it's just got that glitz, that glam, that sparkle, which is so nice for a New Year's Eve party. So I'm wearing a mini dress. This is a long sleeve mini dress. And I always think that if you're going for a mini dress in the winter time, it's always good to have long sleeves there because it kind of balances things out a little bit. And it does always have, I suppose, a tiny bit more warmth there to your look. This is a long sleeve mini dress. It's got this sort of wrap style around the skirt. I got this dress last year and whilst I don't think this exact colorway is available, they do have some other color alternatives in stock this year, which I am equally as obsessed with. I think it's just such a perfect party piece. I've gone for glitz and glam with my accessories as well. So I'm wearing these jeweled shoes. These are so beautiful. They are total Cinderella shoes. They're just stunning. They're basically like this like clear perspex kind of vinyl and then they have these gems like hand glued on. It's just stunning. I really really love them. The attention to detail is absolutely breathtaking. These shoes are just such an amazing statement. Definitely going to be my New Year's Eve party shoes, I'm sure. And then for my bag of choice, I went for this glitter gold bag. This is an Aspinall bag. It's one of their newer bags for party season this year. And I love it. It's the champagne glitter for me. It's so, so stunning. A perfect bag for party season. Great if you've got a muted outfit or if you're going all out like I've done with this outfit. It's just one of those bags that is perfect for party season. Moving on to to my third outfit now. So outfit number three is just unreal. 
honestly, like when I first received this and opened it out of the box and like saw it for the first time, I was shocked. I just couldn't believe how shiny and sparkly this suit is. I mean, the way you're seeing it now is how this looks in real life. I know that sometimes with artificial lighting, you may think like, oh, that's just the light reflecting, but oh my gosh, in real life, it looks exactly like this. Even without like big ring lights or artificial lights or softbox lights, literally anything like that. It just looks un believable. It is a stunning suit. It comes in a variety of different colours. I believe it comes in pink, white, a few other colours as well, and of course black, which is the colour that I'm wearing here. Just love this two-piece set. So I've got on the blazer and the wide leg trousers. This set is from Nadine Marabi. Again, link to the description box down below, but just so stunning. There is actually a matching bejeweled uh, bralette as well. Unfortunately, it was sold out in my size though, so I don't have the matching bralette, but if you want the matching three-piece, definitely check it out because the three piece is stunning. Instead, I opted for the same kind of look. I definitely wanted to go for a bralette to have that kind of sexier look to it. So I went for a black lace bralette instead. And because this suit is just so eye-catching, I wanted the rest of my accessories to stay true to just being black. And I want to say simple, but I kind of think the accessories are over the top as well. This whole look is just very, very extra. So my bag is a black clutch bag, but rather than being being a plain black it actually is also bejeweled as well so it's got some jewels there too but these are not so shiny as the suits basically they're more like black jewels so they kind of shine really beautifully in different lights when the light catches them as opposed to this suit which just like shines the whole time it's literally like it's got a switch and it's just shining it's honestly incredible and then for my footwear of choice I went for some black sparkly bow heels I feel like the sparkly bow really tied in nicely with the sparkles from the suit but then they still are a classic black heel so kind of a mix between classic and the sparkles for New Year's Eve which I adore honestly this suit is just breathtaking. As I'm sure you've probably gathered from the three outfits that I've already shared, I'm really not shying away from sequins with this party looks video. So outfit number four, we've got a lot of sequins again. I feel like this outfit is quite like 60s vibes. I don't know if you agree with me. Let me know what you think. I think it's like the earrings and then the platform heels and the, the shift style of dress that I think makes this look very much like a blast from the past to me. So I really liked putting this together actually. It's little bit different not so much to my usual style but I really like the look so let me know what you think I'm wearing a sequin short midi mini I should say a sequin short mini dress and the thing I love about this one is again it's got those long sleeves and quite balloony long sleeves as well so they're quite like exaggerated which I think looks quite nice it's also a high neck which I love wearing high necks I just think they're so good again extra warmth extra cozy vibes with this one and then it's a mini length and rather than being bodycon or fitted or a wrap style or any sort of dress like that it's more of a shift sort of a-line style so it's very much like straight up and down I've gone for my champagne glitter bag yet again I think this bag features quite heavily it's definitely been my party season bag this year I absolutely love it so I've basically matched that with this dress and this dress isn't exactly like gold sequins but because the bag is a champagne glitter it works really nicely with a variety of different colors it works really nicely with gold more bronzy tones and then it works really nicely with this sort of sequin which is more of like a, a silvery champagne sequin so it looks really good with a lot of different sequins which is what we like to see we like to see accessories that are versatile and work with loads of different looks so then for my shoes I've gone experimental these are definitely trend led platform hot pink heels I went pink I went vibrant I went bold and I really like how it looks here and then I also finish things off with my really large hoop earrings as well which I kind of think are the perfect finishing touch to this sort of retro party outfit idea on to my next outfit and this one is definitely more in keeping with current seasons and current styles not a retro look basically but for outfit number five I've gone for silver here now if you know me you'll know that I am very 
very much a lover of gold. I love my gold jewellery. I love my gold hardware. But silver is always a colour that I gravitate towards in the party season. Let me know if you also gravitate towards a silver in the party season. If you're usually a gold kind of person, but then you move more towards silver for party season. I know for me that tends to be true. But anyway, this look is definitely all about the skirt yet again. This is a mini skirt. It's silver sequins. I don't really know if you call these sequins because they're kind of like discs, like silver discs sewed onto this skirt. But this is another skirt that just looks absolutely stunning. It's definitely eye-catching, it's bright, it's vibrant, and it's super sparkly, which is exactly what we want to see for these party sequin looks. So I decided that the skirt should be the centerpiece. I mean, it's not hard for it to be the centerpiece as it does shine so bright, but I decided to keep the rest of the look quite simple. So I went for what I would consider to be a twist on a shirt for this top. So it's got the kind of classic vibe of a white shirt, but obviously it's not a button down and it's also only one shoulder. So it's definitely got a bit more of a twist there, definitely a bit more like modern, I think. But I really like it and I particularly like how it looks paired with this skirt. Then I wanted my accessories to match the look quite nicely. So I went for my white Aspinall bag. This is another one of those bags that I just wear all the time. This bag actually has gold hard wear and it's got a gold sort of chain strap so what I did was just unclipped that so I just used the handle but I mean I'm still wearing gold jewellery with this look so it's not that big of a deal mixing metals but thought I would mention it anyway. For footwear I decided to go for my silver strappy heeled sandals. These are so beautiful and I feel like they give the perfect finishing touch to this outfit because they match the silver really beautifully and honestly these heels just come out every party season. I really really do love a little bit of sequins. For my final outfit, I did say there was one extra. We've got six. We're going on to outfit number six. I feel like this one is slightly less over the top, slightly less extra, but it's still got that sequence and that sparkle, and I filmed it, so I really wanted to include it anyway. This one, I would say, is a little bit more suited for the occasion where you still want to bring the glitz, the glam, the sparkle, but it's not quite so over the top and extra as like head to toe sequins essentially so something kind of in the middle I personally think this would be a great one for like a work party or after work drinks something like that where you're kind of going for smart casual but also festive and sequins so for this outfit I've gone for a classic shirt but with a twist of course and the twist is sequins so here I've got a gorgeous sequin blouse on this is definitely going to be one of my most worn party season pieces I'm so sure of it purely because it's easy to both dress up and dress down I think that's what I absolutely love about it so I've decided to pair the sequin shirt with what I would consider to be like classic party trousers and these are just faux leather high-waisted trousers I always love mixing and matching faux leather and I think particularly for party season it's a bit more fun and a bit more interesting compared to like your classic black sort of tailored trousers I feel like going for a faux leather trouser just adds a little bit more interest to the look and makes it slightly more party ready in my opinion for my heels I wanted to keep the sparkle coming so I went for those jeweled heels again my Cinderella shoes I'm definitely going to start calling these my Cinderella shoes they just fit the brief perfectly so these match really nicely with the sequin shirt and they just bring some added sparkle some extra sparkle there it's essentially sort of matching my heels to the top which I really like to do with a lot of my outfits and I feel like for this look in particular I love it it's so good for party season and then my bag of choice probably no surprises here it's my champagne glitter bag yet again it's the perfect finishing touch in my opinion it matches the blouse it matches the heels and it just ties the whole look together with some added sequins and some added sparkles for party season so as I said it's still still a sparkly look it's still quite glitzy and quite glam but slightly more muted compared to like head to toe sequins this is only like half sequins which I think is a really good balance if you don't want to go all out or you're not quite ready to go all out or the occasion doesn't call for you to go all out in sparkles and sequins this is a really nice to do sequins but a bit more toned down so those were my party outfits for sparkle season let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments down below also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you like my outfit ideas videos I would really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe as well so that you don't miss my upcoming videos I will 
will say though, this is my last video of the year. I wanted to end with sequins and sparkles and something really like cheerful and happy. Hopefully you can sort of revert back to this video when you're planning your New Year's Eve outfit ideas. But this is my last video of the year, which means I will see you again in January with a brand new content for the new year. But for now, I really hope that you've enjoyed my videos for this whole year. A really, really big thank you for supporting me and supporting my channel throughout 2022. I honestly appreciate every single one of you who watch my videos. I really, really do. So a big thank you for every single thumbs up, every single comment you leave me and every single view to my videos. I really do appreciate it and I am just so thankful for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, on my channel, you've got my Christmas gift guides and also Christmas day outfit ideas too. So do have a look at those videos as well if you want some more inspiration between now and the new year. I will be back in January with a brand new content but for now a very big thank you for watching this video I hope you have a really wonderful Christmas and an even better new year I really look forward to seeing you in the new year a very big thank you for watching as always and I will see you all soon bye